Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know what they say, little things make the big difference. And this is true once again with the research that I'm citing today. So a study in the February 2018 edition of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition has helped to verify that a specific amino acid found in dairy products is a key factor in preserving muscle mass and strength as we age. Now this is important, it's an important breakthrough, as most people slowly lose muscle mass and strength after the age of 40. You know, by age 60, by age 70, by age 80, there's usually a substantial loss of muscle mass and strength, which can make you less steady on your feet and more prone to falls, and less able to perform routine daily tasks, and also resulting in this loss of muscle mass, which slows your metabolism down, leading to weight gain, prediabetes, type 2 diabetes and all its complications. You know, we tend to lose muscle mass as we age because the secretion of muscle building hormones declines in the aging process. So these hormones would include growth hormone and testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, insulin-like growth factor 1 and some other ones. They all decline as we age and thus it allows our muscle mass to be broken down slowly over time. However, there's an amino acid in dairy products known as leucine that has been proven to turn on muscle protein synthesis, even in older persons reversing age-related muscle loss. Now, even in people who don't exercise, the ability of leucine to turn on what's called the mTOR pathway within the muscle cells stimulates muscle protein synthesis to occur, reversing muscle loss and increasing muscle strength. Of course, if you add resistance training to your routine each week, you know, the intake of leucine in addition to resistance training will make the results that much better. So how much leucine do you need each day and where sh what sources should you get it from? Well, first let's understand the problem that exists with suboptimal leucine intake across the population. As people get older, they tend to ingest less and less protein and less and less leucine each day often having only one meal a day that contains a meaningful amount of protein and leucine, and that's usually at dinner time. So the study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed that by simply ingesting three to four grams of leucine at breakfast and at lunch, it increased muscle mass and strength in older subjects, even in those not performing resistance exercises. So the average older person has been shown to ingest less than two grams of leucine at breakfast and lunch. So the new goal is to get that number just up to four grams at breakfast and lunch. So the simplest way to do it, in my opinion, is to add just four ounces, half a cup, of non-fat Greek yogurt to your breakfast and lunch. Greek yogurt is, has much more protein and much more leucine than other types of yogurts and other dairy products in general. It is really the gold standard. Now, this provides the missing two grams of leucine and adds a total of an additional eight or nine grams of protein uh, to the meal. Now, the other way to add leucine that I really like is to ingest a whey protein shake each day. So whey protein is very high in leucine and it contains the other amino acids that best support muscle protein synthesis. So one scoop or 25 grams of whey protein sort of that, that protein powder mixed into a blender, which is water and ice cubes to prevent the ingestion of excess calories, is a surefire way to get the missing leucine into your uh, daily fare. So these seem like small things to do, but over time they can help preserve your strength and your muscle mass and to a large degree your quality of life. So I've included a link to the research in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.